Best of Friends. I'm Marjorie along with Terry, and we're here at the ABFF Award Show at the Fillmore in South Beach, Florida. And we are going to talk to all the celebrities walking the red carpet from athletes to actors to musicians to whoever is just here to just enjoy, have fun, and party. You never know who could pop up wearing God knows what here at the red carpet. I hope it's fun. Well, it's an honor to be here for the 15th annual ABFFs. You know, my, my, my role in the movie Trinity Goodhart was, uh, I mean, it was just such an incredible experience. You have to see the movie. I mean, the movie is just so feel good, heartwarming, just one of those family cuddle around the TV and just all love each other kind of movie. I'm actually working on a new show on NBC. It's called The Playboy Club, and it starts this fall, Monday nights at 10 o'clock. Make sure you tune in, because it's going to be fabulous. I play a Playboy bunny. You know, from Little Kim and Notorious to fame and lottery ticket into now being a bunny, it's so different because of the time period. You know, a period piece is always different. You have to incorporate that into how you speak, how you walk. And I learned a lot about the sophistication of being a bunny. And those are the things that, you know, I didn't have to do for like Little Kim per se. I was just wild and crazy as Little Kim, but you know, I get a chance to really be elegant and sophisticated and, and beautiful, and I love it. For me, when I come back to ABFF, I always feel like I'm coming back home, because like I said, it really was the place that sort of launched my career. All right, we're here with the iconic Miss Regina King. Now, Regina is one of the most well-known and, again, iconic black Thank you, leading, iconic. yes, black leading actresses. Tell us about what you're working on now and what being here at the ABFF means to you. Well, I mean, why this is important is because as you know, it's very hard for us to get financing for a film, first of all, and then even for the films that are not independent, you know, you don't see as much of us as you would like, you know, on even the small screen. Yeah, and that's the reality of it all. So this festival celebrates us. It celebrates our talent. And um, so it's important that when we do have the time, when we're not working as black actors, that, you know, we're here and we're supporting those films that, and those directors and those writers that are going to be the next great, the next big, yeah. Thank you so much for yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, this, this trip has been kind of um, eventless. <laughs> I've had other, I have sessions years ago in Miami, but you know, I'm older and wiser and uh, I just don't, I don't get down like I used to, but it's a very sexy city. Well, currently we're going to start filming season two of Breakout Kings, so that's a great thing. a &E brought the show back. We're all very, very excited about season two. Uh, also, I have a film coming out in September called Straw Dogs. So, you know, I'm not necessarily here to promote my projects. I'm here to support the American Black Film Festival, Jeff Friday, Cadillac, you know, these entities, HBO, you know, all of these sponsors have been supporting this festival because it has been so instrumental in highlighting black filmmakers, you know, and, and the future stars of our business, both in front and behind the camera. So for me, I got to support a festival like this. I know you have a Cuban background. Tell me you speak a little bit of Spanish. Absolutely. Of course I speak Spanish. Los cubanos son mi familia. Yo siempre que estoy aquí en Miami, siempre tengo que ir y tomarme un cafecito cubano con mi gente. No, 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 yo voy a la calle 8 a Versailles a tomarme un café puro de verdad como, como está hecho bien. He is legit. He Absolutely. Said I go to the hood. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing and what projects you're working on. Well, um, because I'm trying to revamp my brand and not be known as the video girl anymore, um, and because it speaks to my heart genuinely, I started my own foundation. My nonprofit organization is called Less Is More, and it's an acronym for Literacy, Etiquette, Strength, and Self. Got a website that's going to be the moving message for the foundation uh, called Smart Cookies Don't Crumble. Basically, I'm just going to be doing a lot of work within the community, as well as you know, trying to get more and more roles underneath my belt. You know, that that challenge me as an actress. Well, we're here with the legendary T.O. and much like on the field where he doesn't let anything stop him, clearly this lockout isn't stopping you. So tell us about what you're working on while you have a little bit of that. Well, not too much. Uh, we shot this uh, movie, Dysfunctional Friends, last summer. So obviously I uh, got submitted here with the ABFF and so uh, very fortunate to, to have a great cast and director and uh, producer to involve me with the film. And so, uh, you know, I did the best that I could and I think uh, with the feedback that we've gotten from people that have watched the film, it's been wonderful. This is Laz Alonzo and you're watching Travelista TV.